Hey guys, it's Napples and welcome back to our farm in the Western Wilds. You're joining me here at the store. Well, not really at the store. I'm going over here to the fire hydrant because our water tanker is empty. And our sheep are quite thirsty. Well, they're still doing fine, but they could use some water. Also in the previous episode, I think I showed you this thing over here. And I think I'm just going to buy it. It's 61% off. It's quite good. It's 9 meters. No, 12 meters. Even better. And it's a planter, so we can change it up a little bit. Maybe we can go for corn or sunflowers. Maybe even sugar beet or cotton. Don't know yet, but I think I'm just going to buy this. But yeah, it's quite cheap. Um, what can I change? The license plate. Yeah, we don't really need one. Right, I bought it. Okay, there was a bit of a stutter. There it is. 61,000 euros for this thing. Oh yeah, 60... 61% off, so that's good. Quite big. Alright, well, I'm gonna leave it here for now. I will take this water tanker back to the farm, give the sheep some water, and then I'm gonna prepare the new massive field, because I think that needs an application of lime. The pH is not very good. Yeah, we gotta improve that, of course. Uh, let's have a quick look. Don't want to crash into anything. Just gonna go give the sheep their water. Try to park it out of the way a little bit. Alright, let's have a look at the pH. Uh, I'm in the wrong menu. Over here. Yeah, pH is not perfect, but it's okay. And we want it at perfect, of course. Nitrogen is terrible. We're gonna change that. Oh, they barely took any water. Okay, that's, uh, that's fine. And I will leave this over here. I'm going to start spreading some lime on that field. Perfect. This thing is full. So that's good. Also, I'm not sure if I even showed this or not, but from all the grass bales that we had in the previous episode or the episode before, whatever I decided not to keep for the sheep, I turned into silage. So they're still fermenting. They're about 80% done, so that's good, a bit of extra money. And I've put a track in as well. I'm not even sure if I showed you that. But yeah, bit of a simple dirt track, at least to our new field. A bit far to the right. Alright, it's definitely improving as you can see in the bottom left. Going from a yellowish color to a lovely green color. That's what we want to see. We are now coming into areas which is even blue. Not sure what that is. I wonder how many times I have to refill this uh, spreader. Because, yeah, as you can see, it's quite a big field. But it's not consuming the lime that fast, so that's good. Alright, well, you know what's gonna happen. I will get this done real quick, 
and I will see you in just a second. Alright, here we go, final piece, and the lime spreading is done. I think that has cost me 4 loads, maybe 5, don't know. And there we go, that's finished. Completely done. Lovely. Yeah, I missed a few bits here and there, but it's still uh, registering as being uh, treated. I think this piece will need some more. Yeah, just a little bit. I don't think I even spent anything on that, on that little piece, but that's fine. That field is now ready to be seeded. Uh, first things first, I'm gonna fill this thing up again. I think I'm gonna have to look for a bigger one. Because that, that took a few minutes. And there we go, full of lime again. And while I'm here, I think I'm gonna service the tractor and I'm also gonna fill it up with diesel. In around, barely made it. Uh, this one, John Deere, repair, 3000 euros. And then we're gonna fill it up. 288 not bad yeah I still think this is, a, this is a pretty good looking tractor I'm glad I bought it all right let's get this back to the farm then I think I'm gonna pick up this planter as well maybe I will even fill it up completely and after that I think it's time to skip this day and in the meantime, I'm also gonna look on ModHop for a bigger cedar. Because our current cedar is only 5.2 meters. And even though that's quite a good working width, I could do with a bigger one. And the ones that are in the base game are quite, quite expensive, to say the least. Alright, we're back. Just placing the planter in the shed. Well, I am trying to, at least. I had to make a bit of a... I had to make a bit of room. Sorry, trying to concentrate and talking English is difficult. But yeah, I made some room. Uh, I put the grain trailer over there. Put the cover over it so it can uh, stay outside. Also, when parking this, I think I accidentally pushed that windrower into the shed and I think it's stuck. I hope I can pull it out. Pull it out. Uh, let's try. Yeah, as you can see, it's going bonkers. It's jiggling, it's sticking out the back. Yeah, that's... Okay, there we go. We got it. <laughs> yeah, that's not how it's supposed to go, but... Alright. That's better. Try not to push it through again. There we go. Not sure if you noticed, but I also took the liberty of filling the planter up completely. So it's completely filled with seed and fertilizer so it's ready to go 
Let's not try to push it through again. Okay, it starts jiggling. Just leave it like that. Okay, perfect. Uh, next job. I think it's a good time to hit the sack. I know it's still early. But yeah, there are no more jobs left to do for today. I did go to ModHop and downloaded a few cedars, but yeah, nothing really that caught my eye. I thought there was a good one, but I found out you can only plant grass, orchid, radish and canola. Uh, this is the one we have. This was my go-to cedar in FS19. Uh, this one I already had, but yeah, it's only 3 meters, and this one is 6 meters, so that's only a small upgrade from the 5.2 to 6. So yeah, maybe this one, or I'm kind of leaning towards this one. It's 9 meters, we can see directly, so we don't need a cultivator. That's also a bonus. And yeah, it's a good one. The price is, yeah, it's reasonable. So as you can see, this one, it's 8 meters, but it's 160,000 euros. So that's about 60,000 more than this one. And this one has a bigger capacity and a bigger working width. So yeah, I think I'm going to go for the horse. But I will see you in the morning. Maybe it will be on sale. That will be excellent. All right. Good morning. Next day or next month. We are now in May. The grass is already ready again to cut. And the canola is doing fine. It's taking a long time, but we knew that up front. Canola takes 11 months. Should be ready by November. Since we planted it in December, I believe. Yeah. Uh, let's have a look at the sale oh that's the round bale 15,000 that's quite cheap isn't it 35,000 liters I think I would be crazy not to buy this can take all crops, potato, sugar beets, <coughs> sugar cane, and take silage, I believe that's manure, chaff, yeah it can take everything, hmm, interesting, very, very interesting, red or white? Definitely want a cover. And those are some fat tires. Yeah, I'm just gonna leave it as standard. Only option I'm gonna take is the cover. Interesting. 16,000 euros for a trailer of this size. Alright, well, I'll take it. It has a towing bar, so we don't need a dolly. Which I hate, so that's good. Sure, buy it. Why not? Alright, well, that was an unexpected purchase. But I don't mind. I'm gonna go collect that thing from the store and just to play it safe I will keep the Martian trailer over here just in case we run into any issues something that I missed with that trailer all right back at the farm with the new trailer as you can see it's quite big 
but that was to be what that was to be expected um, I have nowhere to leave this or to place this so I'm just gonna park it next to the grain silo for now definitely need more room there we go all right lovely um yeah now i'm gonna go ahead and grab the cedar because we have one hell of a big field waiting to be sown We can make good use of our new track. Let me just first get these pallets out of the way. Because the tomatoes are doing lovely. I think I don't have to sell these until January. There's another one. Lettuce is doing good as well. Uh, let's have a look at the price for tomatoes. Yeah, January and lettuce as well. Okay. Gotcha. So, what are we going to plant? Well, I said soybeans. So we're going to do soybeans. I know when I plant them now, they may be ready in December or something like that. Or November. And the best price is in June. But that's fine. I'm just going to keep it in the grain silo. And then sell them when the price is right. Makes sense. I am going to keep an eye on the used vehicle sale. Because, yeah, I would love to get the bigger cedar. Six meters. Yeah, this one, nine meters. If it doesn't go on sale, well, I think I'm just going to buy it anyway. All right, there we go. In goes the soybeans. Well, considering how long it sometimes took to seed that field over there, I think this one is gonna take a bit longer. And that also reminds me, take that out. Push this out of the way. Because it's soybeans, you don't need any fertilizer. There we go. Yeah, I didn't see the nitrogen change at all in the bottom left. As you can see, it's been switched off at the moment since we have no fertilizer. <coughs> but yeah, I didn't see a change at all. And that reminded me, you don't need it for soybeans, so that's perfect. I think maybe after this, maybe even in that field I'm gonna put corn, maybe even uh, sunflowers. I think it'd be good, change it up a little bit. Whoops. Destroyed a little bit of canola there. My bad. Alright, well. You know the drill. I'm gonna get this done. And I will see you in just a few seconds.
as you can see we are almost done and we have the entire field seeded with soybeans wonder how much we're gonna get off this uh, this field I think it's gonna be good since it's quite big and there we go that's the field finished just gonna get this small little piece There we go. I think I got everything. There were a few bits that I've missed here and there, but I think I got them all. Otherwise it's not too bad. Try not to drive over the field with the cedar. Because yeah, it's uh, getting damaged. Put the fertilizer back in the cedar. There we go. Oh yeah, that wasn't too bad. The consumption rate was not extremely high. Of course, it's not as high as with weed or something like that. I did use up all the seed uh, that I had over here. So I think I'm gonna go to the store with the trailer. And buy a few bags. I'm not sure what I'm doing over here with the cedar. I'm just going to drop it off here. Here we go. I'm just going to take the small car trailer. That's fine. I'm not going to buy that many. Just a few. Uh, nothing that I need. Of course this would be fun to have. But it's not needed at this point. Uh, let's see, chickens are doing fine. Can't wait to sell these eggs. Maybe I will uh, skip another day since we have no more jobs to do. Well, I say that, but while I say that, I remember that we also have to uh, roll the big field. I think I'm gonna do that off camera. And the reason why I wanted to skip uh, a day is because yeah in June the price of eggs is also pretty pretty good yeah it needs rolling okay come back in the tractor uh, yeah let me show you June it's over here so yeah in November it's way better but yeah I'm just gonna have a look at the price in June if it's anywhere near this price, well, it already is, but if it's higher than this, then I will just sell. And if not, then we'll just wait for November. But yeah, it's getting a bit out of hand with the amount of pallets, as you can see. Sheep are doing good as well. Lovely. Alright, well, I will see you back over here at the yard. Alright, there we go. Cedars fill up completely. Trailers over there. Lovely. So let's put this away. See if we can do this without screwing up too much. As I say that, I almost immediately crash into a pole. So yeah, doing great. There we go. Okay, now I need my roller. Oh, that's over here. I was still looking for the small one, but we have a new big one. And there we go. Alright. Let's go to the big field. Yeah, like I said, I'm gonna get this done real quick off camera. Then I will just skip to June. I also need to think about some more food for the chickens because we only have 5,000 liters of sorghum left and yeah the chickens are hungry maybe I'll do a field of barley also pretty high yielding 
and it's a bit quicker to ripen than uh, weed because I believe wheat takes 10 months and barley 9 so yeah we can also get some straw which is also good because I want to get some cows real soon uh, what am I doing? lower this and start rolling alright perfect ok see you in a second so I'm just returning from the field the entire field has been rolled so it's as productive as it can be uh, it's time to put this roller back in the shed and after that I think it's a good time to rest because I think I want to sell some eggs in the next month whatever it's fine like that let's just leave it uh, yeah like I said I want to sell some eggs I want to end this episode by making some money and I think it's gonna be quite good as you can see by the amount of pellets it's gonna be nice okay, 4800 liters so they will make it through the night no problem they still have food we still have enough water so do the greenhouses oh, all right perfect time to hit the sack all right good morning great demand at farmers market all right is that for eggs that would be nice no okay uh, 5,555. Well, that's over 300 euros above the maximum price. So yeah, that's a good time to sell. And I'm definitely gonna do that. The canola is looking good. Yep, looking lovely. Let's have a quick look at our new soybean field. See how that is doing. From over here, it's looking healthy. Yeah, perfect. Germinated nicely. So yeah, pH perfect, nitrogen perfect. Awesome. Alright, uh, get into this tractor. I'm gonna get that blue trailer loaded up with the egg pellets. And then I guess I will just see you at the train yard. Because I'm not gonna bother you with me trying to load a trailer with pallets because that's just painful to watch okay here we are once again at the train yard going to deliver a big load of eggs and boy am I glad that you are unable to damage those things because yeah I think I would have lost the entire batch with my pallet loading skills. Alright, well, I will keep you here for just one pallet because I want to see how much we can make out of one pallet. So please bear with me. All this work, first person view. It does. Alright, so one pallet. That's the full pallet. Yeah, it is. It's 1400 liters. Let's see how much we can make out of one pallet. They are slowly selling. Oh my god. That's almost 8,000 euros per pallet. Jesus. Oh boy, this is gonna be good. Well, I do need the money because, yeah, like I said earlier, I wanna get some cows. And the cow farm or shed is not really that cheap. So we can use all the money we can get. Alright, well, I will make a quick jump cut and I will see you in just a few seconds. Okay, so I'm just gonna sell the last pallet 
And as you can see, we have made quite a bit of money. Whoops. Oh no, not again. I'm stuck on the train. Let me go. There we go. Perfect. Oh yeah, we started out with, I don't know, how much? One... 137 or something? 130? I don't know. And now we're at 221, so perfect. That's not bad at all. So much money for just a few eggs. Alright, well, time to head back to the farm. And time to say goodbye to you all. Because this is a good time for me to end today's video. So hopefully you've enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to give a thumbs up. And if you want, you can subscribe for more, of course. As always, thanks for watching, guys. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.